You did pretty good last week, I will say. Now you're good. Let's see. Test. Let's see if that pops up. I just said test in the chat, so we'll see if you can see it. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Oops. Oh, you should have a viewer account. Like right now it says there's two viewers. Yeah, that's just the, normally like if you're on the, the, hold on, let me switch this to, let me switch this to not view real quick. Oh, that's because um, we, you can subscribe to channels. You have one free sub, like, that you can use from Amazon Prime. Like, you can use that instead of, like, subbing to a channel. This music is good. Stream looks good. Music sounds good at the moment too. So if it gets too loud or anything, I'll let you know. Cool, cool. Have a fun stream. I'll be here.
our transitions worked. <laughs> hey, welcome back. We're here. It's 10 o'clock Eastern Wednesday nights. As always, I'm here streaming, making more faces of a mad artist. Uh, for those of you that are here for the first time, this is a posthumous NFT art memoir collaboration. I don't know, throw a bunch of weird words in there, but basically this is me doing uh, art collaboratively with my father, uh, who passed away in 2016, Teddy Cleanthus. Uh, so I have a massive bank of art of his, and I have like 700 amazing paintings and faces and all kinds of crazy shit. And, um, and then I have these like notebooks, just like a bunch of them, just packed full of these like simple little illustrations you see here. Uh, like this little funky face. So every week I grab a new one. I grab some of his abstract uh, like uh, paintings, watercolor paintings, uh, splattery, crazy, just like really wild abstract stuff. And I make something new with my draw on top of it. I add a lot of cool stuff to it. I've done a bunch of fun ones in the past. And this is me like honoring his creative memory and legacy as it were. And, um, you know, keeping good on my deathbed promise to do something really amazing with his art. So on his deathbed, obviously. Uh, so, here we are, I uh, got this piece to show you guys some of the ones we've been up to and we've almost minted the whole collection on Ethereum. So, I have a collection that I'm dropping on June 25th, which is the sixth anniversary of my father's passing. Uh, we have 72 unique original works of art from my father. They're all faces. This is the first edition of Faces of a Mad Artist. I'm going to release about, I think there's 250 of them last I counted, right around that range, but don't count you know, specifics, but... Um, and I found a few more since then, so... But, um, they're all unique individual paintings. I'm going to mint them all individually as NFTs. This first collection is going to be the cheapest they'll ever be uh, available. So I you know, hope you guys check them out and love them. You can check out what they're going to look like uh, at facesofamadartist.com. We partnered up with Hypernet Labs to do some really awesome things with the NFT registries. So we'll, we'll, we'll have basically all kinds of control to create a community and give you guys rewards and upgrade these NFTs over time and add new NFTs and do all kinds of really amazing things. I'll send you guys prints. Um, you know, I want to set up some milestones where if these things hit some really high, uh, you know, traded volumes, I can send you guys NFT print, NFT displays for your walls. Um, you know, really cool shit. Like I'm trying to really make this a long-term project. So you know, all just kind of love and just, you know, honor the, the cool art that my dad made and maybe some cool shit that I made. Who knows? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it then on that sort of side of things. Welcome uh, new people here. Thanks for checking it out. Um, oh cool. What up, Lexi? Uh, hello, A1111B. What's up? Pieces to kind of put into this one. I uh, do need to. Oh, okay. <laughs> is that. What is that? Is that Andy? Is that Andy? Anyhow, um, so let me find some stuff. Actually, I want to show you guys Face of a Mad Artist. Let's do that. Sorry if I, uh, I'm chewing on my drink tonight. I put some, uh, some dried mint in it from the garden uh, that I had in the kitchen instead of fresh mint. Uh, and uh, here we are. It's, uh, it's a little chewy. Still tasty though. <laughs> what up, Andy? Hey, sub to the channel. Give me some. Give me some. Some metrics. Let's see. Faces of a mad artist. Sometimes I can spell friends. So journey I've been on my whole life. I'm in the math science magnet school but can't spell shit. So it's all good. Alright, here is the faces of a mad artist. Excuse my bit marks. So check it out. So we have a little write-up of collection and then all of these really amazing pieces. So if you buy these NFTs, and again these are gonna be cheaper than ever, I'm I'm looking at like the hundred to two hundred dollar range for all of these. Uh, in Ethereum, you will get the original piece mailed to your house. Uh, so that's pretty amazing if, uh, if I do say so myself. These are some of my favorite pieces of art. Uh, and I cherish them, but I just don't want them to sit in a chest in my house for the rest of my life. I have 
30 pieces of my dad's art already on the walls in here. It's like, let me look at the ceiling. <laughs> the ceiling's covered in it. This whole back wall has all the faces on it. Like, I got plenty. So, um, yeah, I want to share them with everybody. Like, I feel like I would be doing the world a disservice if I didn't put it out there. Like, this is some really cool and talkative, thought-provoking, emotionally, like, disturbed artwork here. And, uh, you know, it's funny, like, going through these, seeing what resonates with people and what doesn't. It's, Tell some people about it, really appreciate it. And uh, if you like any of these, check it out again. Facesofmadartist.com. I'll drop that in the chat. Uh, madartist.com, June 25th. Uh, they'll be available to purchase. Um, yeah, there it goes. I'm, I ha the only thing I haven't considered is how much shipping is if someone buys these overseas. So I might have to accommodate that. But basically, I'm going to cover my gas fees my shipping fees and just get these pieces out to people uh, i'll be able to update the nfts as well so if you'd like to have on there that you're the owner of the original that's the problem. cool hope you guys love that all right so i've got this strange weird little face my dad drew i always joked that like most of these he probably drew while he was sitting around like something and this is like an absent-minded thing that he was loosely even cognitively aware he was doing uh there's just so many of these and i just remember watching him do that remember one time i woke up at this apartment i lived at the beach and like there was this like strange doodle on the side of my bed on my like some like piece of mail that i have like a sunset and birds and, like weird shit like who the fuck drew this but, i mean it was my dad but i didn't even see him do it uh, it was pretty neat uh, also, always have a little Ask Me Anything component of this. Uh, I'm the CEO of Pepsi uh, Me, and also run a, the Hampton Roads chapter of AIGA. So, you know, I've got a good amount of experience in the creative world, uh, you know, on the Epic Me side, we do animation and digital art and advertising assets. We're a pretty big brand. Um, yeah, the shameless one is super cool there. Um, so, uh, some, some pretty big brands. We just, we've done some work for SpongeBob, we've done some work for Nickelodeon. chaotic vibe <laughs> so i was kind of going with that i think this is pretty crazy chaotic like color wise and so, i don't know some this was a painting my dad did and then he hated it and he blew it up made a print and then splattered paint all over it i just love like the primary colors and just like it's really insane and i think like the look on this face is crazy as fuck so i might be able to kind of get away with some sort of collaboration of that consciousness in this piece I also like some of like the angular energy of like this piece. I might tweak the colors a bit. Uh, so let's see. And then, this is like super low res. I'm talking to myself. Remind me. How the puppy's doing over there, uh, my friends? So my buddy Derek is always on here, and Andy, and uh, their their dogs just had dogs. <laughs> While I was over there helping paint, it was exciting. Got two little babies. People. How are we doing now? Music volume's in. Okay, cool. All right, let's start doing some stuff. So, is it good now or no?
getting rid of the white on this. Let's get rid of the gray too. <laughs> Why not just real abrupt abusive black and white? Cool. It seems like it's like it's loud and then now. Let me know if the music's too loud again. Or if it's weird. Derek, that bathroom looks so good, bro. Damn it, why is it back up? It doesn't even make sense. Uh... Cool. I might need to put my earbuds into it. Don't worry, Lexi, the stream's not always this boring. Be, be getting into the thick of it here in a moment. An old man has moved slow, you know, gotta, gotta get all my little things lined up. All right. I was watching like these little pin tricks today, like, <laughs> like I gotta do that for the stream. <laughs> I'll get it, like, I just don't have it yet. <laughs> All right. It's gonna be something I'll do. That'll be my little trick. I'll learn how to put pins around in my fingers when I'm talking. Make it look that good. All right. So, at least I think it's fun on my dad's stuff like this one. Actually, let's do a smaller version. So, like, I'll. Just select the outside of this and just do a little AI content aware fill, which is uh, basically like Photoshop will use the data from this layer on the inside to make new data in the uh, whatever layer I selected. So uh, whatever area I selected. So I've selected that outer part, do a content aware fill, and does that, which is pretty freaking neat. I can go in there and manipulate it, but I just like that, so I'm going to do that, get a little chunky there, and get rid of all this white space. It has failed me. Come on, thing. Still not impressed. Try another tool. Nope. Did I smell that bad, Derek? Did I need to take a bath? <laughs> nah, man. We're waiting. At least one more day. So Derek just redid our whole bathroom. And it's glorious. You know what? You know what? It's this glorious. Let's see. This is what my new bathtub and... Oh, look at that. When Derek's handle says that he does tile, this is what he means. He makes beautiful masterpieces like that. It's like six different types of tile that he like mosaic all in. And a big piece of slate and just like this beautiful handcrafted masterpiece. 
labor of love. I still gotta finish like the ceiling and the vanity and all that obviously, but holy shit, look at that thing. Oh my god. So, anyways, back to work. <laughs> Uh, get a little base color from a little face in here. Right. Ooh, a little orange face. Let's see. Yeah, that looks good. Got some, got some licensed music tonight. Paid for it and shit. The next level. <laughs> it's a good one, baby. It's immortalized on the live stream now. <laughs> Stupid eraser. Yeah, dude. It has been fun, Derek. It's a little, uh, sorry for my delays and replies. It's, uh, I think the chat, the, the actual live stream's like a good amount behind. Uh, the, oh, like, my whatever whatever the hell I'm saying here sometimes it makes sense I'll try messing with this piece again a little interesting Fun. So I get this like a, I like to get this little spot healing tool. We'll do create a texture. See that that does. Yeah. Content aware pulls in data like immediately around it, and then I can use like a clone stamp tool if I want. But I just like to you know, change it up so it doesn't look so repetitive. Start playing with the uh, depth on this and see what happens. So we'll do a little color burn, get some shadows in there. I'm just going to try to be crazy with it tonight, see what happens. I'll try to get like a little too 
artsy with it, you know? Technical probably is the term I'm looking for. Suppose just letting it flow. Again, I say this every week, one of these days, I'm going to get caught making a complete dumpster fire. Damn it, I drew in the wrong layer. Dad's whole life was funny moments, man. Um, let's see. Let me let me chew on that for a minute, Derek. Great question, though. Thank you. Um, I say <laughs> some of them are too much. <laughs> Let me think about it a second. Um, hmm. Let's take a beat on that. Uh, let's. It's a really good question. One of my dad's funniest moments. Uh, I mean, there's just tons. Like, it's like, I don't know. I remember one time we were driving and it's, he was just like turning down this road in the car. And this was kind of like a theme of him driving, but he would just be like, he would say like, ah, we're gonna die. And then he like, he'd like zoom and cut through some shit and do something crazy. And like, you literally thought you were gonna die the whole time. Uh, so that was always exciting. Um, let's see, what else? I can't be the, the champion <laughs> of, the, of the act. I'll think about something. Um, do you remember anything about my dad that you thought was funny?
Okay, I can't believe I'm stumped on this, honestly. I'm kind of disappointed in myself. I gotta think of something. <laughs> My cousin told me a story the other day. He said that, um... My dad was always in a hurry. He actually called himself Fast Teddy. Uh, just because he was literally always in a hurry. But, um... My cousin said they were at the bank, and the teller, like, took his tube, you know, with his little check in it or whatever, and I don't know, this is probably in the, in the 70s or 80s, eh, 80s or 90s, um, but the teller, you know, took a little bit of time, and everything was kind of slow, and he was like, yeah, what's going on, and he would get really antsy, and, um, he, like, literally... He was just freaking out, uh, my cousin Jay said. And then he, the lady, lady sends the thing back and, like, sends his two back. She's like, all right, well, you have a good day, sir. And he's like, yeah, I will. What's left of it? And, like, my cousin just thought that was hysterical. So he shared that with me a few times. Um, a similar story to that, like, when my dad was dying, we were, uh, I was driving him home. I think we went to my brother's restaurant. And um, yeah, I took care of him for, like, the last three months of his life pretty much nonstop. Um which was uh, amazing and humbling and all of the things kind of calibrated my perspective on life for sure. But uh, I think something that was just hilarious during that time, we got stopped at this red light. So imagine like there's a cross section, right? Like this. And uh, there's a little parking lot right here on the right side of the road. And my dad lived across this cross section, across the street on this side, right? So cross section, he's over here in this top left corner. This little business is on the on the bottom right, and he's like, "Hey, it's like, all right, car, yeah, you gotta you gotta take a right and then take a right. So like, turn here, go through the parking lot, go over there, boom, boom, and you can just, you can skip the light. Yeah, yeah, come on." I was, like, I was like, I was like, "It's cool, Dad. Like, it's gonna be like a two minute light. We, we're literally in the middle of the country in Pungo, in Virginia Beach, and like he's freaking out. <laughs> like, starts like, ah, 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 ah. I mean, he gets out of the car and just starts stomping across the street, walking to his house." <laughs> <laughs> like it's just, like literally dying of cancer but couldn't be bothered to wait at the fucking light for like two minutes uh so you know the light turns green he's still stomping across the street like and i just like drive by and i'm just like are you okay like <laughs> it was great so that was a definite funny story That's a great story, Derek. So Derek said, just because the chat doesn't come up when you watch these on restream. I remember at a soccer game, it was all tied up. Uh, it was tied all game and it was intense. And then we got we got scores on the last minute and lost. We got scored on. We got scored on the last minute lost. But I looked over and saw your dad in his bare feet pointing at our keeper, laughing at him. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, I could see him doing that. <laughs> Uh, you know, you're not, you know, messing with people a little bit. Like, are you having enough fun in life? You can't be taking this shit, but so serious. Nobody's getting out alive. So Derek used to play soccer with my brothers and I growing up, so he actually knew my old man. Just in passing as a crazy parent on the sideline, more or less, but... As good of a spot as any. What's up, little man? What are you doing in the grass? Okay. Gotta watch these creatures. Chopping parts off of this painting, I want to make a little duplicate. This one's already crazy. I love it. I love the craziness. Let's see what happens when I do that. Ooh, doesn't suck.
It's so refreshing to do this type of stuff after like doing just hardcore design and even like like really realistic illustration because there's so much exploration to be done in this type of art where like there's nothing like I, you can't really fuck this up because there's no wrong way to make art uh and the real big differentiator between art and design is you know intention and purpose right like the only purpose here is for me to make something that i like uh and there's no like functional application Ooh, that, that's a little intense i'm not mad about it though God, I just lean into the calm blues all the time. I think I'm going to stay with this like psychotic weirdo energy just for some juxtaposition to the rest of the pieces I've made. It's my big magnet school word for the day. I don't even know if I used it properly for the record, but we'll go with it. my painting went wherever my mind went which I lost a long time ago got my Christmas colors on that that's fun that's not gonna stay I get so many funny comments about like um, my little background here. I'm like, where the hell are you? Like, <laughs> people ask me if I'm like outside or I'm in like a basement or like, <laughs> if I, I, I don't know. This is my cool background for streaming. These would make pretty sweet tie dyed shirts. Let's go sell them at festivals. Comes with a free pack of mushrooms. <laughs> it's like a box of Skittles. <laughs>
So Derek and Andy, you guys are my, my first super fans. So if I ever become a famous artist, like you guys will be like, you'll have you have the NFTs to prove that you were the ones. Actually, you both are getting NFTs. I'm gonna hook you up. You gotta make a MetaMask. Because I've been to more live streams than anyone else, and I massively appreciate that. So I'll teach you guys how to do that as soon as we're all done with all the crazy shit we got going on. NFTs are currently worth uh, whatever anyone will pay for. So. <laughs> You guys have Discord? It's like a chat. I'm sure you don't. I don't know why I asked you a stupid ass question. <laughs> I know you guys. I know, I know. How can you not love me? I'm so lovable. Chewing on your mixed drink is an interesting thing, guys. You should, um, should try it out. I had Andy uh, experiment the other night with uh, <laughs> I saw some shit that you, if you put a little baking soda in your drink, if it's too strong, it like nullifies the alcohol taste. But don't use like a teaspoon of baking soda because then it just fucking tastes like baking soda. <laughs> I thought Andy was gonna gag. <laughs> you know, you just gotta, gotta just, you know, Try weird shit once in a while, you know? You, you only live once, so. <clears throat> now I got a piece of uh, mint caught in my throat. Started a drawing this week of like a weird monster version of myself it's pretty fun i'm gonna make it like a little freaking crazy horn beak nose on this creature what happened to my music going ham on the crazy color vibes tonight guys you're welcome <laughs> this looks like trash. It is awful currently. Let's see if I can save it. Ha <laughs> ha. 
always think Photoshop's messing up. It's just me. Just a crazy human. Some little funky eyebrows, I don't know. Why not? Oh, Derek and Andy, if you guys want a print of anything, uh, let me know. Put it on the wall. I got you. I just, I really appreciate, I mean, you guys literally have made like four of these in a row, which is amazing. So I just hate this, so I'm gonna fuck with it. I love it, Derek. I love it. Makes me feel good, man. I'm just playing with some things. 
see if I can find a little shortcut to something better than I have. seen that show shameless apparently that guy that looks like the one from shameless I, I haven't seen the show but uh my buddy that named me helped me um my partner on this chris helped me name that one he's like yo if you haven't seen this this is exactly what that shit looks like I have never seen it. I hear good things about it though. dad is a uh, amazing but also like no no small feet you know anyone that doesn't think it is a big deal isn't doing it right right that's how I feel the most important job I ever had right up next to being a good partner It's old, old Angel's dad. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> you guys are great. I appreciate you.
Excuse me. <laughs> what the fuck am I even making? Uh, it's fun. <laughs> She's still with us, Derek. She's still with us. Dissolve. I was like, why is this all like gritty? It looked crazy. like this one at all yet. I don't know what's up with it. We might get there. We'll see.
<laughs> this like weird nose thing is, might be a big part of the problem. These look hideous. Did we lose Lexi, Derek? Our Gleam giveaway for the NFT is almost up. I believe we have a little bit of time left on that. I haven't looked recently. Ugh. <laughs> Oops. Um, so if you want to win one of our NFTs, make sure you enter in our Gleam competition. We're going to start getting, they're always listed on our social media profiles, but I'm going to make sure they're listed on the, uh, Linktree website as well. Let me see. I'm gonna drop a link to that real fast now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, uh. Oh, I can't access it with a VPN on. 